everything from the cells in your glasses to your eyes to uh, outer space, trees, everything, all vibration. Okay? When you, a vibration is simply small movement. And when you look inside any type of atom, you will find subatomic particles. So we'll find neutrons and protons and electrons. And you will see that they're moving. The electrons are not static. They're moving. Different models. Some people think cylindrical. Some think they jump. Right? But there's an electron cloud. We scientists usually describe it as. And it's moving. It's not still. So even in every atom, there's slight motion. There's movement. And so energy equals matter equals mc squared is, is a very simple way to explain that. That what you think is matter is actually energy. Okay. So everything, everything that we can experience is vibration. We can only see a very, for example, in our eyes, we only can see a very small piece of the light spectrum. This is the light spectrum, and we can only see a tiny piece of it. You can see that piece is magnified down the bottom. That's what we can see. If you were able to see gamma rays and UVB light and uh, radio waves and X-rays, the, all the shirts, the white shirts that you're wearing would not be white. There is no white molecules in these shirts, okay? No white electrons. It only appears to you as a color because we have limited perception. The same with the mic, microphone. Alexander Graham Bell, all of you in the West will know him. He's the first one who made the real practical, first practical telephone. Expert in vibration. He gave a very good example that makes, you can visualize this very easy. If you have an iron rod and you clamp it down, and then it, you begin to vibrate it, make it vibrate in, motion, in small motion, then when it as, it, as it vibrates and reverberates, then it will first appear, the frequencies will first appear within a certain range, it will become sound. So you'll hear it, it'll start humming, if you vibrate it. You'll hear it humming. So it'll start with a low hum, like, oh, and then it'll go higher, you know. Keep going louder, louder as you, as you increase the, the repetitions per second. And then this will become a huge shrill, very loud sound, super high pitch shrill unbearable, and then in one instant it will disappear. The sound will be gone. No more sound. Because you can't sense those pitches. But as you continue to increase the reps per second, then that sound changes into heat. So what happens, the iron bar will start heating up. You can't hear it, but it'll start heating up inside. And as you continue to heat it, then from heat, as you increase the vibration reps per second, then heat becomes light. So the iron rod will become hotter, hotter, and then it'll become iron red, and it'll start shining light, iron red light. As you see when you molt, you know, burn some, when you burn the, you know, iron, when you, when they molt, when they make the molten uh, iron. So it's the same vibration, it's just increasing the number of reps per unit of time, okay? I don't want to get too much into science, okay? Let's just keep going. So, these are all connected. Whether you look at light, that's vibration. Sound, heat, all vibration. Just different speeds. In physics, there's something called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. And that is very simply put, if you want to see an electron, you want to see a subatomic particle, you have to shine a light on it. And as soon as you shine a light on it, you cannot know its exact location because it changes location and its momentum because of the light. So there's always a, a, an uncertainty in measuring momentum and location of those energy, those electrons and subatomic particles. So you, the, that, what that shows is that just by observing something, it's already changed in its nature. In trying to observe an electron, you already are changing the atom and the location of the electron and its momentum. That's called the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Okay? By our observation, you can, it, atoms are changed. 
the locations of these subatomic particles have changed. We can see this in a very famous work uh, by uh, uh, Imoto Masao. And this is famous throughout the, in Japan. I'm sure all of you have heard about him, right? And he's the one with the water, water molecules, taking pictures of the water molecules. And uh, let's just go through quickly. Okay, Keso Kaseya. Keso Kaseya. So he put different labels on pieces of water, froze them, and take pictures of them. Okay, and so when he, when he uh, take pictures of something like hapshida or let's do this, hey, why don't we do this? Recommending that's how this, the water crystal looks like when it's frozen. Okay, and then the next one, you do it. Hara. Okay, then it changes. Okay, next, next one. If you say, you make me so mad. Oh, it's actually like you are so annoying or something like that. I'll kill you. If you say that, you just put that letter, the word, on, that, on the, 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 the tube down there, you see. Then, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Then it looks like that. Okay, next one. If you say, okay, town. If you say, Okay, that's a, that's a curse word. I'm not going to say that. You know what it means, okay? If you curse at somebody, okay, then that's how the crystal looks like. Okay, next one. This one is simply say, it says the love of husband and wife. And you can see how beautiful that is. Next one. Difference between angel is on the left and devil is on the right. Okay, next one. This is water before the experiment on the bottom, and it becomes clear after receiving gratitude and love, energy. Okay, next one. This is water before receiving prayer on the right, and left after prayer. Okay, so I, I'm sure our Japanese members know this. Okay. Okay. So, remember your body is 80% water. You remember that? So your body is 80% water. So then it's very important what kind of vibration is coming out of your body. What kind of internal vibration is coming out of your body. You can look at just those crystal, water crystals, and see how much influence the certain vibration can